Hi everyone, Blues from Skullbusters, and today I'm going to walk you through the five new engine swaps that came with the update. So first up, we've got the Alpine A110, and that starts off with 248 horsepower. Mine's already kitted up, so I had to have a quick check. But this car is going to get a VR38 GTR Nismo engine, and that's going to take the horsepower, almost double it, up to 591 and this will be a very good car for Le Mans of those of you who want to use it you can see there it's took it to 715 pp that's just me putting the wide body on it and that's in the ballpark for Le Mans race I think it's gonna do about a time around four minutes I need to mess around with it the tune with it because I jumped straight into this um, but yeah we'll get back to you on that one Next up we have the Nissan Fairlady Z, Z33 and this is quite a weird one this because the engine output is already 310 horsepower and the engine swap we're going to get is the R34 and that's going to push the engine horsepower only up to 336 so I don't know if the tuning on the existing Fairlady engine is not as good as the uh, R34, can't tune it as much, but remains to be seen. You do, however, get a lot more torque, so swings and roundabouts. For me, it's, it's not really worth it, this one, but you know, you might want to bang that engine in there just to get it in and possibly give yourself greater tuning options. Reet, on to the next one. Next up, we have the Nissan R32 GTR Nismo. And this is going to get a GTR engine in it, and that's going to take the horsepower up to 591. Now, just look at where that PP sat. This is going to be a Tokyo car, this. Four-wheel drive, all that horsepower. Might have to do some messing around with suspension, transmission, just to get it to compete with the other cars, but I've got good hopes for this one. Reet, next car. Get ready to do a double take because it's the R32 again, just the uh, V-Spec version this time. And this is going to get the monster R92 CP engine in it. I've already kitted this can out to high heaven, so it pushes the PP straight up to 740. So this is a really good engine swap, and I'll be messing around with this one for sure. Last, but certainly not least, is the Nissan Z Performance, whatever it's called. Basically, the 350Z from 2023. We're going to put in it a GTR engine. And it's going to take the horsepower up from 399 to 591. Now, the PP goes up to 591, but I reckon this car will be better suited to a Le Mans than uh, Tokyo, just because it's not four-wheel drive and you've got to deal with that wet weather at first. At least on Le Mans, you can just put the wet tyres on. Right folks, we shall have more videos for you shortly, tuning these cars, but until then, adios, we'll see you all next time.